Thank you for taking the time to view Align Star's future tutorial about manual alignment techniques. In this video, we will learn how to use the alignment tool, how to make alignment changes by implementing this tool in four different ways, and how to undo alignment changes. Alignment, or realignment, is the process of moving map objects from one territory to another. The purpose of this is to achieve some previously defined notion of parity among all of the territories. AlignStar will help you achieve your goals quickly and easily by providing statistics to help you make your territories as balanced as they can be. AlignStar allows you to align map objects in many different ways. The various techniques are all integrated into a single tool, the alignment tool. The particular technique that you use will depend on the specific type of result that you are trying to achieve, as well as your personal preference. You should become familiar with each of the techniques outlined during this tutorial to maximize efficient use of the software. The first technique is the lasso, which is the default for the alignment tool and uses no keyboard action. The lasso alignment uses only the mouse to freehand draw an irregular shape around map units and align several units or a larger area. Once map units are selected, the destination dialog presents summary statistics for all numeric fields in all linked data sources. These statistics represent the selected map units to help you know how the proposed alignment change will impact your territory balance. The user must choose the destination territory that these map units will become assigned to. The second technique is point and click and is used when aligning a single map unit or a large area to the current destination. When using point and click, the user must first choose the destination territory folder in the hierarchy tab by clicking on it once to highlight it. Holding the shift key on the keyboard, the user can use the tip of the drawing cursor to click on each of the map units to be realigned. The third technique, drag and drop, is used when aligning a few map units from various sources and destinations. The drag and drop technique allows a user to align individual map units to nearby territories without selecting a destination territory folder. A user can perform the drag and drop alignment technique by holding down the control key. While holding the control key, the user can then drag map units into a new territory, releasing the mouse on the new destination. The user does not need to specify a territory folder when using the drag and drop alignment technique. The fourth technique, Radial alignment is used when aligning units in a circular area or ring of a specific radial distance. The radial feature is invoked by holding down the R key on your keyboard while clicking and dragging on the map with the alignment tool. The radial distance can be seen in the status bar on the bottom left of the application. Without releasing the mouse button, the user drags the cursor out from the center point of the circle to the desired distance and releases. If you inadvertently align map units to the wrong territory, use the undo tool or edit undo or control Z to return the alignment to its original state.